Korean 4 lesson 9 lecture 아르바이트 면접 오러 왔는데요. 아 uh, so 는데요 giving background information like we um went over in Korean 2 and reviewed at the last lesson. I'm here for an interview for the part-time job. First grammar 개 되다. Um Again, 되다 is very passive. It's a verb that means somehow it happens to be that way or become that way or to turn out you know, to be that way. Um, you can use this with both um, verb or adjective to say um, things ended up uh, being that way or things ended up, um, you and we ended up doing something, okay? Uh, it's to indicate again um things uh beyond one control like things took its course and that's how it ended up okay um it can be for telling reporting news uh it's used mostly with verbs that instead of adjective although you can use both verb and adjectives and it's like that's how it ended that's how it you know turned out Um, this is, uh, good to compare and cra uh, contrast with, um, again, uh, one of my favorite grammar points where you put, um, that to turn adjective into a verb. Okay. Uh, which is, uh, it became this way or that way. You use this grammar only with adjective. Steven and 술을 많이 마시면 얼굴이 빨개져요. It just, you know, when he drinks a lot, he, uh, his face becomes red. He just, um, naturally, okay. He doesn't force it. It just comes out that way. Body 색깔이 바뀌어졌어요. The hair color, um, becomes changed. Okay. Um, 마크는 여자친구 생기고 나서 많이 달라졌어요. So, um, Mark, as for Mark, after he um, had a girlfriend, he changed a lot. He became changed a lot. Okay. So, it's, you know, it's, it's a process. Okay. It's a process. Um, and it became that way. Um, 요즘 운동해서 몸이 건강해졌어요. So, my, I became very healthy. Um, as because I've been exercising these days. Okay. It, came uh it became that way um i went over this before uh again uh tueda i'm gonna recap it very quickly because i went over this uh in the last lesson um tueda is a counterpart of hada um very similar but they're the opposite in meaning And people think they are not related, but they have they belong to the same irregular pattern. I know because this is O E and this is A, this is we. And um when they're conjugated into a oyo, they both become e, heyo and tweo. The um reason why most people become confused as if it's going to be this tue or this tue is because. They're written differently. Um, they're spelled differently, but they are they sound the same. Okay. Just remember that when it's uh you're conjugating it as a or something, then it becomes this tue with the e. And um, if you if it's just verb stem uh and something else, then you can use this form, this the way form. And a also form. It can be either 돼서 or 되어서. And for the past, uh, it's either 되었어요 or 됐어요, the short or the longer form. So make sure you correctly spell with this or this, depending on the context, because it could have a completely different meaning, okay, sometimes. 친구가 축구를 좋아해서 저도 축구를 좋아하게 됐어요. Um, because your friend likes uh, soccer, 
I you you I also ended up liking soccer too. Okay, um, so coming to again process. Okay, that's how it ended up. 공부를 열심히 해서 장학금을 받게 됐어요. 됐습니다. Because I studied hard, um, I ended up getting the scholarship, receiving the scholarship. 어머, 머리가 아주 예쁘게 됐어요. 예쁘게 됐습니다. You can be used with adjective. The hair turned out well. Hair turned out pretty. 비가 와서 바베큐 파티를 못하게 됐어요. Negative things too. So um, because it, um, it rained, um, we ended up not being able to have the barbecue party. 한국에 가서 살면 한국어를 잘 go live in Korea. You're going to end up you know, just kind of like naturally uh, be able to uh, speak, be able to speak Korean well. So 한국어를 잘 하게 돼요. Then you end up speaking Korean well. Um, again, you can use adjective. 맛있게 됐어요. 됐습니다. The um, food turned out really well. It was, it became, um, yeah, it came out tasty. See, it's... Again, the emphasis is on like it turned out well, like you maybe you put in the same effort, but it came out extra nice. Um, James and Tadir Tachasovsky because he ended up, um, you know, um, hurting his injuring his leg, so therefore ended up not being able to ski. Pyoga Kongjaro Sengyoso Opera. 보게 됐습니다. 됐어요. Because you ended up getting free ticket, you ended up seeing, um, watching the opera. That's how it came to be. 돈을 다 써서 매일 라면만 먹게 됐어요. 됐습니다. Because I used up all of the money, I ended up eating ramen every day. Okay. Uh, 비행기표가 다 팔려서 기차를 하게 됐어요. 됐습니다. Because um, all the flights sold out, so that's how you ended up um, taking the train. If you know this movie, um, 사진을 보고 기억하게 됐어요. So you, by watching the photos, you ended up remembering uh, something, okay? Um, Again, kid that tells you like it things just flowing very naturally, gradual, like that, you know, look that process of like looking at a photo and recalling a memory. It, it just happens very fluidly. Baomi or Hatga is also because you have a heart. Tadangul, that's what happened to the uh to the man, right? He ended up being able to feel love with his heart because. Um, now he has a heart. Um, and these are really uh, great to ask, um, you know, tell me about yourself questions, okay? Uh, 어떻게 한국어를 배우게 됐어요? How did you end up learning Korean? 어떻게 여자 남자 친구를 사귀게 됐어요? How did you guys end up uh, dating each other, okay? Um, how did you end up dating your girlfriend or boyfriend? 어떻게 and subject, um, 한국어를, um, 컴퓨터 공학을, computer uh, engineering, uh, 전공하게 됐어요? 어떻게 LACC 대학에 다니게 됐어요? And did you end up um, going to LACC? 어떻게 LA에서 살게 됐어요? How did you end up living in LA? 어떻게 취미를 시작하게 됐어요? How did you get started on your hobby? 지금, 아, 어떻게 지금 하는 일 하게 됐어요? How did you end up um, working, um, doing the work that you do now? 어떻게 한국어를 배우게 됐어요? Um, you could say 일 때문에, because of work, 일 때문에 한국어를 배우게 됐어요. Because of work, I ended up learning Korean. Uh, 한국 드라마 때문에 한국어를 배우게 됐어요. Because of Korean drama, 
um, you know, temune because of that, and you can give a, a noun reason, okay? Next grammar is very practical too in everyday um, conversation um, in which um, you get to know more about other people. Um, it's to exp uh, you know ask and express about one's past experience. Um, in Korean too, we learn aopoda to um, try something, and we uh, develop that into a question. Um, Have you tried something? Okay. Um, poda means to see, but aopoda is like literally do that action and see, which um, translates to uh, do you know try it. Okay. Um, 은는 저기 있다 없다 literally means I had done that act before. Okay. Uh, 은 저기 있다 없다 for um, verb that ends with consonant. 니은 저기 있다 없다 for um, vowel ending uh, verbs. It is only with verbs because you have done something. There's if there's an instant in the past that you have done this. 생일에 꽃을 받, 받은 적이 있어요. Okay, um, it's non-modification past. Um, if you realize, okay, um, you know, yeah, there's been a case where I received flower for my birthday. 볼링을 친 적이 없어요. I had never uh, bowled before. Okay. Um, 열 페이지. Essay to Sunjogi Soyo. Have you written a 10 page essay before? Okay. Uh Chinguante Sonuro Pensid Sabon Jogi Soyo. Have you ever um handwritten a letter to a friend? Um it can be uh you know um indicated with time, uh you know, you know. 작년에, have you done that uh, last year? 몇달 전에, a few months ago, 얼마 전에, some time ago. Um, but you, you cannot use this grammar to, for something very recent. 어제, like, 어제 is yesterday. 어제 한식 먹은 적이 있어요. Because it's about, like, was there an instance? Okay, even in English, that sounds very odd. Like, was there an instance? Uh, anytime yesterday you had tried Korean food because it's a very general question. Uh, even 지난주에 is um, last week is too close. 지난주에 테니스 쳐본 적이 있어요. Um, 어렸을 때 다리를 다쳐본 적이 있어요. When during childhood, when I was young, um, there was a time where I broke my, um, I injured my leg. Okay, so it has to be some indefinite time or at least like months ago okay because it's about having had an experience not something um uh, doing something recently there's always irregular kotta tiguri regular kongwane karunjogi uh isoyo or kara ponjogi isoyo um so you put uh neon uh, I mean, so for ticket, you treat it, you replace it, um, you don't replace, sorry, you do replace ticket with deal and then um, just treat it like a regular verb, okay? It will be un, okay? Uh, it's just that you do replace the ticket into deal and it becomes un. Deal. Deal, if the uh, mandilda, if it's deal, you replace it with neon. Cocktail 만든 적이 있어요. Um, 만들어 본 적이 있어요. It's just the top is, have, have, have you ever had a, have you ever done this? And the bottom was, have you ever tried this? The subtle difference. Cocktail 만든 적이 있어요. Was there a time uh, you ever made cocktail? Have, is there a time that you had tried making cocktail, attempted making cocktail? 한국에 가봤어요? Uh, it's one way you can ask, have you been to Korea? 한국에 가본 적이 있어요? Was there a time you had visited Korea? Um, have you had that experience? 
uh, this is yo, anyo, kabonjagi opsoyo. Okay, there, there haven't been an instance where I've been there. Tanbe piwa pasoyo. Have you tried smoking? Tanbe piwa honjagi soyo. Anyo, yo. Okay, uh, in the past it used to be yo. I forgot to uh, update. Um, no, uh, there's uh, hasn't been an instance where I had tried smoking. Have you, um, have you ever been on a, uh, have you ever, um, been on a pl uh, train? Uh, have you, um, tried speaking Korean with a Korean person? 본 적이 있습니, 있습니다 or 없습니다. Okay. So instead of just um, 아 없었어요, you're replacing the 보다 with 본 적이 있다 없다. So it's still uh, 보다, you guys. Um, 적 is to uh, indicate like there was a time. Okay. 김치 먹어봤어요. 김치 먹어 본 Togi isoyo or upsoyo. Have you um was, have you tried kimchi? Ha, then this is a little more um challenging. Hangu gumsik mandrabasoyo. Have you tried making attempted making Korean food? Mandraponjagi isoyo or upsoyo. Tangakum pada pasnika pada punjogi isoyo opsoyo. So uh you know, ao puda is more, I would say, casual. Have you tried this? Have you tried that? Pun togi is was there an instance where you um tried that? Okay, or you have um done that? Okay. Sukje ane bonjogi isoyo. Was there a time uh you try you um not doing your homework? Anyo sukje nan taheo. Okay, no, I do all my homework. 안 해본 적이 있어요. Okay, uh, yes. Um, there are time like, um, you know, I I tried. It, I think this quest, uh, this one, it's better to say 안한 적이 있어요 instead of, because you wouldn't try not to do your homework. Okay, um, the better question is actually 숙제 안한 적 있어요? 안한 적 있어요? Okay. Is there a time you didn't do your homework instead of you try not doing? 을 리을 텐데 dot dot dot. Um, it's to make a conjecture about something. Um, followed by a suggestion or question. Um, and it's usually used used for um, it can be used for thanks or apology like. Ah, also, bianheo, kumawayo. Okay. Um, and it shows the speaker's concern about the situation. It will probably be this way. It will probably be that way. Ulir, so probability in the future. Okay. Um, used with both verb and adjectives. If it ends in um, consonant, verb or adjective, ultende. Otherwise, you put riul at the bottom of the vowel ending syllable. 앉을 텐데, 비가 올 텐데, um, probably something, uh, you know, um, somebody will probably sit down or it's probably will be such that it will rain. 좋을 텐데, it would be uh, good. 배고플 텐데, um, probably, you know, somebody would be hungry. 일찍일 텐데, it would be um, early. 중요한 인터뷰 일 텐데. So both of these, whether it ends in a uh, noun, ends in a consonant or vowel, both of them will be 일 텐데. Okay. Past uh, will be the same. Okay. For, um, oh, I'm sorry, at 었을 텐데. 앉았을 텐데. 앉았을 텐데. 비가 왔을 텐데. It must have had rain. It must have rained. 좋았을 텐데, it must have been nice, okay? 배고팠을 텐데, they must have been, you know, have been hungry. 일찍이었을 텐데, 
you know, worrying about something that had uh, taken place in the past. 1등이 있으면 꼴찌가 있어야 할 텐데. <laughs> so if there's a first place, somebody must have been uh, last place. That's what they're worried. And who, who was uh, the, um, the last, right? Um, who was the bottom of the list? They're concerned, okay? Um, 새들도 사랑 뽀뽀할 텐데. And uh, yeah, the birds must be... Um, you know, they must uh, love and kiss too. So these, when a clause ends with tende, it's very up in the air. It's like dot, dot, dot. Okay. The first one, it's more, the, the concern is more, um, you know, clear. Like then who took last place? I feel bad for that person. It almost seems like that's what's implying. Okay. Um, 추울 텐데 이거 드세요. This is the typical, um, you know, construction of the sentence. You know, it must be cold. I have some of this, okay? 피곤할 텐데 안 졸려요. You must be tired. Aren't you sleepy? Okay? 바쁠 텐데 파티에 와줘서 고마워요. So to, um, you know, express uh, thanks and apology, you must be busy, but then thanks for coming to the party. 오래 기다렸을 텐데 you must have waited for a long time. Um, th uh, sorry about that. Okay. 을 텐데. Okay. Give a suggestion or ask a question. 시험이 어려울 텐데. Okay. The test must be uh, difficult. 시험이 어려울 텐데 열심히 공부하세요. Or you can be a proposal, you guys. 시험이 어려울 텐데 같이 공부해요. 스트레스가 많을 텐데, you must be very stressed out, you must have a lot of stress. 새 차가 비쌀 텐데, the new car must be expensive. 중고차 사세요, uh, buy used car. 감기 걸려서 아플 텐데, you must um, be uh, sick because, you must be ill because you caught cold, suggestion. 심심할 텐데, you must be bored, make a proposal. 심심할 텐데, 우리 나가요, we let's go out. 우리 영화 봐요. 배고플 텐데 you uh, must be um, hungry. 더울 텐데 you know it must be hot right now. 지금 기분이 나쁠 텐데 you must be in bad mood right now. 지금 기분이 나쁠 텐데 um, 즐거운 음악을 들어요. You know um, give tips on how to improve mood. Um, listen to um, upbeat music. Next grammar, uh, fourth, 아무 and noun, 이나 or now. Uh, if you do this to a noun, it means anything, okay? Um, if the noun ends in consonant, 이나, otherwise now. 아무나 or 아무 사람이나, anybody. 아무 대, 아무 대나, 아무 장소나 can be okay to any place. 아무 것 or 거. I get asked a lot uh, whether to use uh, cut or call. Cut is used when it's written, call used when it's um, colloquial, but interchangeably is fine. Anything. 아무 때, 아무 시간이나, anytime. Okay? Because 때 and 때, uh, they're used ex Exclusive, you, they are not standalone. You need to use them with uh, noun modification. It's, um, we use 아무 때 or 아무 때, but 아무 장소나, 아무 시간이나 is fine too. 아무 꽃이나 주세요. Please give me just any flower. 아무 색이나 좋아요. Any color is okay. 아무거나, um, Korean vending machines, they do have the um, random button. 아무거나, anything, okay? Just any, any, anything come out. 아무나 쉽게 따라하는 Instagram marketing. Okay. So anybody can, uh, Instagram marketing that anyone can easily follow how to do. Okay. 아무나, 아무나. Uh, anyone can learn Korean. 아무, 아무나 한국어를 배울 수 있어요. 
아무 때나 시작해도 돼요. You can start anytime. 식당 음식이 맛있으면 아무 데나 괜찮아요. So if the uh, restaurant food is delicious, anywhere is fine. 과일은 아무거나 다 좋아해요. Uh, if it's fruit, anything is fine. I, I, uh, I like everything, all of it. Any, all of it. 이상한 사람 아니면 I, or 아니라면 소개해 주세요. Please, uh, as long as somebody who is um, somebody not weird, 아무나. Just introduce me to um, hook me up with somebody uh, as long as they're not weird. 하루 종일 집에 있을 거예요. You'll, you'll be home all day. So come anytime. 아무 때나. 아무 시간이나 오세요. 도움이 필요하면 말하세요. If you need help, please tell me. 제가 multiple choices. 아무거나 아무 때나. I will help you with anything, anytime. 전화해. 내가 아무 때나 받을게. Call me. I'll, I'll pick up anytime. So, um, you know, you have these situations um, where you are going to give the answer with some restriction, but then as long as uh, it's not this, anything, anyone is fine. 어디로 이사 가고 싶어요? Where would you like to move? Uh, 한인타운이 아니라면 아무데나 괜찮아요. If it's not Koreatown, anywhere is fine. You can say. 어떤 roommate를 찾아요? 어떤, 어떤 roommate를 찾아요? What kind of roommate are you looking for? Um, you could say um, 깨끗한 깨끗한 사람 이면 이면 If it is somebody who is clean, anybody is fine. 아무나 괜찮아요. 무슨 음식을 잘 먹어요? What kind of food do you like? Um, do you eat well? 매운 음식이 아니라면 uh, 아무거나 괜찮아요. As long as it's not something spicy, uh, anything is fine. Or it could be the opposite. 매운, if you like spicy food, 매운 음식이라면 If it is something that is spicy, uh, 아무거나 괜찮아요. Then any food is fine. 아무 음식이나 괜찮아요. 언제 한국에 갈까요? 여름이 아니라면 아무 때나 괜찮아요. If it's not summer, any time is fine. 여름이라면 If it is summer, 아무 때나 괜찮아요. It can go either way. 파티에 무슨 옷을 입고 갈까요? What should I wear to the party? If it is um, St. Patrick's Day, you say 녹색, 녹색 is green. 녹색이라면 아무거나 괜찮아요. If it's green, uh, any clothes are fine. 아무, 아무 옷이나 괜찮아요. 어디에서 커피를 마실까요? 어디에서 커피를 마실까요? 스타벅스가 아니라면, as long as it's not Starbucks, uh, 아무데나 괜찮아요. Okay. Uh, 아무 카페나 괜찮아요. Any cafe is fine. 누구하고 사귀고 싶어요? Who would you like to go out with? Okay, um, you could say uh, BTS member, 라면, if it is a member of BTS, uh, 아무나 괜찮아요, then any one of them is okay. That's it for um, lesson nine.